have decided to rebel and they're trying to make it very uncomfortable. Hello folks, welcome along. So this is a delivery which we ordered earlier in the week. When I knew that I was going to be completing the sign out front and it is the new LED lighting. So we've never actually had proper lighting above any of the pubs. I've always bodged it and it's always failed, never looked great. Um, because while the lighting was good, we could never get, let's make sure that we're in shot properly here, we could never kind of get a proper mount for the lights. So I wanted an extruded aluminium type thing, but in black. That's generally what they do. It's called trough lighting. And that's what we've got here, hopefully. It looks really good, actually. I'd like to know where the mounts are. It's well bloody packaged. As you can see, I'm struggling to get into it. We'll be able to give it a quick test and see what it looks like. So one of the reasons why I decided to go for a smaller sign on the bigger fascia backboard was because of the cost of these lights, one of the reasons. So if we'd have had a full width sign, and remember there's almost 10 metres of fascia board out there, then we would have had to have 10 metres of illumination and I think that was just far too much so let me grab a quick test so we'll be able to have a look exactly what power this is going to consume and need a little extension plug. There we go, this just uh, brings the quick test out a little bit so it doesn't foul on the table. Right, so this light, it features, here's the mounting brackets, or screws for the mounting brackets, the brackets must be in the other container. And on this end here, it has already fitted a light sensor so these lights come on uh, when they detect that the sun has gone down so let me see first thing i'm going to do is get the meter out and check it's earthed i would imagine something like this They've not cut the earth wire. I would imagine something like this has definitely been earthed correctly. If we just scrub that on there and we get the other end. Now we're looking for continuity. Oh, I need to find a metal piece of metal somewhere. There we go. Lovely. So that is definitely earthed. So happy with that. Live earth neutral. So there he is. I'll cover the. Oh, look at that. I've covered the thing and it's come straight on. Warm white. I went for the warm white because I wanted the sign to have a nice golden glow to it. I think it will. I'm very pleased with that. So there we are, folks. I'll just open the other unit. Oh, I forgot to check what power we were pulling there. In terms of wattage. Right, it's still on. So uh, let's have a look. Value. 
20 watts. That's not bad at all, is it? Why has it stayed on? Maybe it's because I've just flashed it several times, I don't know. Anyway, let's get this installed. And then that will be the front of the pub completed. So, uh, you know what's going to happen. Of course, I'm taking it apart. Mainly to document what's inside, but also because the cable, whilst it's fairly generous, two and a half, three metres, is not going to be long enough for my requirements. So, unless I come up with a different way of terminating this, maybe, uh, see, I don't want the cable to run down the front of the fascia, which will be visible, so it's definitely not going to be long enough. Therefore, I have to change it. But while I've got it open, I thought, let's have a look what it's made up of. So I think essentially what you're paying for here is the extruded aluminium. Simply because uh, it's made for the job. Now everything else on there, like the transformer, the light sensor and the connectors and even as far as to say the LED tape, which is just glued onto the back of this aluminium or it could be steel actually it is steel strip that slides in they're all relatively easy to source and i imagine maybe the um extrusion is as well but i couldn't find it i didn't know what i was looking for so it was much easier for me to buy and then of course the end caps are somewhat bespoke unless you've got a 3d printer you could make your own so just thought I'd document it. More than anything though, I would like the numbers off here so we can have a look at that. Class 2 power supply and also the numbers off the back of the light sensor. So if I want to buy one in the future, I know where I'm going for it. There we go folks, I thought I'd come and grab a little bit of footage just to show you the lights, well, lit, which they are. So I'm going to see if I can get across the road in a second and uh, we'll have a bit of a close-up. Right, the traffic's cleared. So, yeah, what we've done basically is just stick uh, a couple of brackets up to the top, as you can see, and then whack the, uh, the new lights on. I've wired that one into this one and then the cable kind of comes down just around in that corner there and in behind the camera and then it's just on a normal plug on the inside but very effective indeed looks loads better than the old one